Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. If you have been doing professions in World of Warcraft Dragonflight, you may have noticed that skill is actually the least of your worries. You're going to get that profession skill, but what's really going to limit you in professions is knowledge points. And knowledge points are quite tricky. There are so many places where you can spend knowledge points and also they cannot be refunded. Once you have spent knowledge points on that character, they are there for good. Even if you drop the profession and start it all over again, you cannot reassign your knowledge points. So, okay, that's that's some major decisions. Although the decision could be more minor if you were able to max all the knowledge trees in reasonably short time, then no matter where you start, you end up with full knowledge. But it's actually going to take a long time to max your knowledge trees. Have you calculated how long? Because I have. First of all, let's take a look at how many knowledge points do we need. And all professions are not created equal. Blacksmithing requires whopping 800 knowledge points to max everything. Leatherworking at 750. Whereas inscription gets by with 680, tailoring at 630, chewcrafting at 630. And all of these all of these professions have the same methods to acquire points. So yeah, blacksmithing is so time consuming. Then again, Enchanting 565, Engineering 525, they are getting a little bit less knowledge points overall, so okay, that compensates. And then there's the Gathering Professions, like Herbalism at 520 and Mining at 455, which also get knowledge points a little bit differently. But that's a lot of points to gather, so how many points are we getting? There are many sources of knowledge points, I mean, this game does resemble Excel sometimes. So, Treasures and Trainer. The basic 8 Treasures plus 1 Trainer gives you 29 Knowledge Points, but there's some variation, like there's one Enchanting Treasure that gives plus 5 points, Engineering only has 2 Treasures, and so on and so forth. Then you get some Knowledge Points from Renown, from 2 factions, you get plus 5 at 14, plus 10 at 24, so that's going to be a total of 30 Knowledge Points. Then you get some knowledge points from the Artisans Consortium. You can buy those tomes at various reputation levels. 10, 10, 10. So that's 30 knowledge points again. Then you have some first time crafts. So every time you craft a new recipe, you get one knowledge point. For blacksmithing, there are currently 86 recipes in the game, for example. So you will get 86 knowledge points from them, assuming that you can actually craft every single one. And many of those require sparks. Then you have weekly quests. You have weekly quests for crafting professions to complete some work orders and a weekly quest to gather some stuff and you get plus three from each of those, so six per week out of those. Then there's weekly drops. You get two drops from mobs and you get two drops from dirt or from the expedition scout packs. So you will get an overall four points per week out of those. Then there's draconic treatises that scribes can craft for you, but only through crafting orders because those are bind on pickup and those add one per week. And then there is dark moon fair, which you can do once per month and that adds three points per month. And then there's dragon shards of knowledge, which you can hand over to Kadeen in order to gain knowledge points. So you will get four from the introductory quest line, and then you might be able to pick up more later on. So those are your basic sources of knowledge points, as far as the game is concerned at the moment. So now that we know how many points we need, and we know how many points we're getting, then we can start to take a look at, okay, how long does it take? And blacksmithing is the king of professions. Case blacksmithing, you need 800 knowledge points. You will get 175 knowledge points from one time sources. Then you will get 11 points each week if you do everything. You will get 3 points per month from Dark Moon Fair. And then you might or might not use Dragon Shards of Knowledge to get some more points. And overall, it's going to take around 54 weeks completing all the weekly quests and item drops until you max your blacksmithing. And that's assuming that you will be able to craft every single recipe, so we'll get knowledge points from those. So it might take a little bit longer if you don't craft all the recipes. It might take a little bit less if you have lots of dragon shards. But around one year of effort to max your blacksmithing. Whoa, that, that's pretty, pretty intense. 
Whereas tailoring, tailoring is an easy profession. It only needs 630 points, and it gets pretty much the same points as blacksmithing. There's 174 points available from one-time sources. It's a little different than blacksmithing because there's a different number of recipes, but very close. 11 points per week, same as most crafting professions. 3 points per month, yeah, that's Dark Moon Fair. Any Dragon Shards of Knowledge. So maxing tailoring only takes 39 weeks. These these are pretty bonkers. I mean, you have to be quite dedicated to professions week in and week out. Like raiders can just come in and raid and then they can take some bit of a break before the next year. But if you're into professions and you want to max everything in your profession, you just need to play a lot of this game. Let's take a look at one more case, Herbalism. Herbalism needs 520 points, and as with gathering professions, there are not as many one-time sources available, so you're only going to get 90 points from one-time sources. But gathering professions are actually able to get one more point per week than the crafting professions from the weekly quests and mostly from the weekly discoveries, from the weekly side gathers that you get. So if you get 5 or 1 point, and then at the end 1 for 3 points, so 8 points from those. Totaling 12 points per week, including the Draconic Treaties from Inscription. And 3 points per month from Dark Moon Fair, plus any Dragon Shards of Knowledge you may use. So Herbalism, maxing Herbalism takes around 32 weeks. I mean, yeah, it's nice that professions are part of the endgame, but when you realize that it's actually going to take so much time to max everything, that means that in this expansion, for example, I'm playing two blacksmiths in this expansion, because I came to the conclusion that it will take me too long to max blacksmithing so that I would be able to craft everything. So I have an armor smith and I have a weapon smith. And my weapon smith also crafts profession tools, because some of the profession tools are opened from the weapon smithing trees. I guess there's enough material to like make a video of every single profession separately. But just as an example, how in some cases in this expansion, it makes sense to have the same crafting profession on multiple characters, because it takes so long to acquire the knowledge points to do everything on a single character. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.